Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. Now, I have been a long user of the Chums wallet. Um, it is a simple wallet. A lot of people have seen it. You've probably heard about it. It has two zippers, like, uh, you know, the wallet, wallet is a small rectangle and you've got a zipper on one side and you can put stuff in it and it has a little uh, tab to separate items. And then if you flip the wallet, there's a zipper here as well. You can put more stuff. One side has a window and you also have like a slip pocket and uh, there's a little key ring on the end. And that has been my wallet for a very long time. And uh, trying wallets, I always end up going back to it because it's convenient and it works. I actually made a little paracord lanyard uh, with a buckle on the end. And I'll leave this on the key ring by the door and sitting on it is my chum's wallet and my keys. And so I can grab this, throw it over my neck, go out the door and I have those essentials. Um, but the reason this lanyard is here and there's no chum's wallet on it or my keys on it is because I found a wallet that I like better than the chum's wallet. I didn't think it was possible. Um, I didn't think I'd be a, a person who carried a wallet not on a lanyard uh, hanging around my neck because I had gotten so used to it, but I'm not anymore. I am no longer the person wearing my wallet around my neck. And if you wanna know what wallet got me to put that away and why, come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So yes, I am indeed using a new wallet. I have not used the Chums wallet for several weeks now, and I don't know if I'm gonna go back. And the wallet that has gotten me to go away from the Chums wallet is by Axwell, A-X-W-E-L-L. -L. Now this wallet is a metal front pocket wallet. Um, very similar to other ones you have seen, most popular being the Ridge wallet, which I do own one. And while using it for a small period of time, did not get me to leave my Chums wallet. Why did this one get me to leave my Chums wallet and the Ridge or other ones like the Ridge not? I don't know. Uh, so here's my theory on it. This one is, is very lightweight. There is not much weight to it at all and it is very slim. So I have, I have some cash folded up. I think I have like $60 in cash. So three bills folded up on the side. And then I have three cards on the inside, um, my license and, and two cards to pay for items with, and that's it. And that is very slim. You could tell by the, um, by the, where the, the cards are on the inside. The wallet is the size of the cards. It is not bigger as far as, di uh, you know, like length or, or width, um, but it is just all you're adding is depth and the ability to hold your cards together, which I think is, is perfect. Now this one can hold up to 12 cards in it. Uh, I, I just don't have that many cards that I carry. Um, but if you do have that, you would you would just simply, you know, it would expand out and hold those because it is held together by an elastic band. So this is the aluminum and this is in an orange coloration. They come in a myriad of colors and materials. You can also get this in uh, different materials, which is very cool. Those will alter the weight. The weight of the aluminum is very small. It is coming in, uh, I thought I had it written down, but I don't see that. I will add that uh, on screen. I'll put the weight here, but the dimensions of this, oh, it 2.6 ounces. There we go, guys. This one is weighing in at 2.6 ounces, and the copper one comes in at 5.35. So if you like copper, you will definitely be adding uh, twice the weight, but if you're a copper fan, it's well worth it. Copper is cool. Uh, it, it definitely shows age and wear and tear, which I think adds to the look of it. Um, but if copper is your jam, 5.35 ounces, 2.6 for all aluminum variations, which is nothing, like it weighs nothing. And the small footprint 
And here's the kicker for me, I believe. These edges are rounded. They have been, uh, they have been so well machined and they're smooth, they're rounded. And I find that this just slides in to my front left pocket that is always empty. I never have anything in my front left pocket or rarely. This just slides right in and disappears. I do not even notice it in my pocket, which is incredible. And that's why I don't wear a wallet in my pocket. So this wallet, like I said, I have three, um, I have three cards in it. You can carry up to 12, obviously adding the depth as you do that. And the little notch at the bottom is how you remove the cards. So let's see if, here we go. So you push on this and the cards slide up and you are able to grab them and you know, use whichever one you need. And uh, to put cards in, I gotta be careful because I actually do have my cards in here. I didn't think about this ahead of time and put you know, dummy cards in here. But uh, you can separate it out and that's how you slide your cards in. So you can just easily fan it open, slide your cards in there. It'll bulk up according to how many cards you have. And then when you wanna use them, you push up and the cards slide up and you're ready to rock and roll and grab what you need. Um, there's something really cool about this and I will get to it, but I wanna make sure I hit up the bullet points on this. It is an RFID blocking wallet, which is so important nowadays. Um, it, uh, let's see, all, the, all these things are what, what I wanna show you about. 50-day um, risk-free guarantee, which is very, very cool. And their return policy is awesome as well, as well as this has a lifetime warranty, which I think is so cool. And they stand by their product. Um, let's see here. Make sure I give you all the details that, they, that, uh, that are important to know. So there are two things I'm gonna hit up at the end and I'm gonna hit them hard because um, they're very cool. All right, so that, that's the bullet points that we wanted to get by. So this wallet, the Axwell wallet, it is, uh, you've got a, flame, a plain front here and then on the back side, I have chosen the elastic strap. So that's not all that you can get with this wallet. You can get the elastic strap, which is what I am using. And my theory is I'm gonna use the elastic strap until it no longer functions as well elasticity wise to hold my cash and it starts falling out. At which point I will switch to the money clip, which slides on. So now I did not get a special YouTube bundle with the elastic strap and the money clip and they hooked me up so I could show you guys all the options that you have with this. This comes with all of them. When you get it, you get the, uh, the front side here, you get the back side here, you get an elastic strap and you get a money clip. Here's how this works and this is how it is so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my cash from here so that you can see. So this is what the, the money clip side looks like. Now, check this out. That panel just came right off. The panels on the front and the back are magnetized. So that panel is off. Now we still have this front panel. Where the elastic is on the wallet itself, you could get your fingernail in there and separate it. Come on, there we go. And so now I have a wallet that does not have the face of the wallet on. So this is the guts of the wallet. So you have the aluminum frame, you have the elastic band around it, and that's what holds your cards together. And then these plates are what you are putting on to, uh, to make it look finished, but also where you are adding your attachments on. So let's say I don't carry cash and I do not want the ability to carry cash. Well, then you simply remove your elastic strap from that and now you can take your, um, your plates, put them back on, and boom, I have a wallet with nothing on it at all. I am simply carrying a card holder. Now, let's say I want to use the money clip and I want to use the elastic band. So what you would do is remove a plate and slide the band on it. Either one, they, it goes, but you can put the band on either one as well as you can put the money clip on either one. So this is the front one that actually has the logo and I'll show you what I just did here. So I put the elastic band on it 
and it has the little grooves for the band to slide to, so you can't put this in the wrong spot. So I got it where it goes, and the reason that I'm gonna switch this out for the money clip is that the little metal plate, uh, actually that kind of fits perfect, so we'll leave that on. It looked like it was covering up a little bit of the logo, but I think we are good. So I've got the wallet, or the uh, elastic band, on the front side of the wallet now, and then I will take the back panel off, and it has two indentions right here, and that is where, you can see on the back of this, there are two indentions here. This will slide to that point and stick. So it just, I'll show you guys what I just did there. Come on. So you take this on and you slide it down and it's actually clicks into place right there and you can put this panel on. So now I have the elastic band on one side and I have the money clip on the other. And then the final way that you can set this up is nothing on one side and money clip on the other. So you actually have four ways to set this up. No outside attachments, both outside of attachments, money clip only or elastic band only. So very cool customizability there. And my plan was to try this for about three months. I was gonna give this about three months and see if it was still holding elasticity just like it did at the front. And then I was gonna switch to the money clip to give that a shot and see how I like that. And honestly, if I liked one way more than the other, I would use it. If I wanted to try both, I would. And if not, and then I was just probably gonna go back and forth as I wanted to. But uh, so far after several weeks, none of the elasticity is gone. I wouldn't expect it to be this early, but that does show the, the quality of materials that they are using. But with these panels being magnetized, you could buy two wallets and you could actually take off the panels and switch them. So I have the orange wallet here. They have gray, they have navy, they have green, they have all kinds of colors, uh, black, I could actually buy a second wallet, take the panels off and switch them. And then I could have a two-tone wallet. Like I could have an orange wallet with military green uh, panels on it or you know whatever the case is. So you do have that flexibility, which is very cool. You have the flexibility of changing how you're carrying cash, if you're carrying cash, or what's to, you know what type of outside thing, because you could also keep receipts in here, whatever the case. But you could choose whether you want it plain or whether you want accessories on the wallet itself. And then here's the really cool thing that I like, guys. The, they, support, um, they support the military, they support veterans. So every wallet that is purchased, uh, they, they send a portion of the proceeds to help with two uh, organizations. They help with the Veterans Community Project here in the USA, and they help with Homes for Heroes in Canada. And both of those organizations help veterans get homes. They help homeless veterans get home. And I love that. Uh, my husband, former military himself, we love supporting uh, companies and organizations that support veterans and a portion of the proceeds go in there. That makes my heart happy. So this is the Axwell company. They are doing great things, guys. They are making a great product. They're making a product that got me to kick my chump's wallet. Um, and we'll see how long this gets rotated in. I imagine I'm now gonna be a rotating wallet kind of person, whereas I was chums only. I imagine now I'm gonna be rotating between the Axwell and my chums um, and another wallet that I have coming in. But this wallet's incredible. The company is incredible. I love that they're supporting the veterans and I can hook you up with a 10% discount. I will have the uh, link below, but you go to Axwell's website and use the code EDC and you will save 10% on the purchase of their wallets. So uh, definitely go check them out. I really like it, and I'm honestly probably gonna be getting more of these because this is awesome. Like, it is just a cool wallet. I love the looks, I love the feel, I love the, fle the uh, flexibility, the ability to change the products, the, the, uh, the accessories on it, and I, I, I love the company, guys. I am super impressed by them and what they're doing. So definitely give them a check out. And if you like the front pocket wallet style, I don't know how you go wrong with Axwell. So definitely check that out. 
Uh, guys, I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below. Let me know if you have used the Axwell wallet. And uh, if you have not, are you gonna check one out? Cause I highly, highly recommend them. And I'll be back with some new material soon. So take care and remember EDC, EDC.